Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It's a newbie. Hey! <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to be doing an updated feminine hygiene video. Um, so on my channel, I think about a year or is it over a year, two years? I don't know. Ago, I did a feminine hygiene video and I haven't updated it ever since. And I thought, you know, over the years or over the months, however long since I last did that one, um, I have changed my products up a little bit. I've tried out different other products and I thought that, you know what, let me bring them out. Let's talk about them. Feminine hygiene is so important. Look at me doing this because every time I do this, you must know that feminine hygiene is so, so important. And for me, it's um, a topic that I feel we should talk about. More women should talk about. And I'm that woman who's going to come here and show you what uh, feminine hygiene products I use and how I keep everything tucked, nip, snipped, um, smelling tra -la, la and how I take care of myself and my feminine bits okay so if you want to see this video definitely do keep watching and while you're at it click the subscribe button why are you not subscribing you know I see a lot of you guys are watching but you are not subscribing what what is the problem let me help you if I can let me know but subscribe down below thank you thank you so if you haven't watched the feminine hygiene video that I posted all that time ago you wouldn't know that I refer to my vagina as my petunia I have for a very long time and and it's not going to change today even my friends know that I'm not I'm just like, my, my petunia ain't feeling too good I don't know what's going on but too Patu, <laughs> what's going on? And I also refer to that time of the month, period times, I refer to that as Valerie. So everybody who knows me, I tweet it all the time. I'm just like, wow, Valerie is here and my goodness, are the floodgates open. Jeez Louise. <laughs> so just for reference, Patoon is the Vijay and Valerie is period, period times, that time of the month red robot whatever it is you want to call it that's pretty much what that is so um normal regular maintenance let's talk about that so for me normal regular maintenance means grooming it means uh what i use when i get into the shower or into the bath to take care of petunia so what do i do to groom and what do i do to what do i use to look after myself now this isn't rocket science to anybody who's followed this channel for a while because have i've mentioned these products in um vlogs and i've also mentioned it in that feminine hygiene video my number one feminine hygiene product ultimate wash and intimate ultimate wash is the gynagard daily control ph balance uh, enhanced prebiotic and probiotic formulation this is what i use i've used it for a very long time this is pretty much what it looks like i've used it for so long that i i <laughs> ride or die die hard if you don't maybe like to use a uh, the wash wash and you'd like to use a bar Femi Gen and Gynagod also has the intimate cleansing bar. So this one looks like so. There so are people who love to use bars and then there are people who love to use the intimate washes. It really is entirely up to the person using it. Next up in terms of grooming, I am a number one diehard fan of the Gillette Venus shaving stick. This is what I have in my shower right now. This is just a spare one that I use. I, I actually think the one in my shower is pretty much ready to be changed. And I use this for pretty much everything. Everything. I use it for hair. I use it for patu. I use it for my legs sometimes. It really, really just depends. But there are those days where patu is just... She's sensitive, maybe there's those ingrown hairs and all of that. When that happens, I tend to shy away from using, oops, I tend to shy away from using a razor and instead I will use the Veet Hair Removal Cream. So it comes in this box here, like this. Can you see that? Okay. And um, I really, really love this one because 
sometimes Pachu just isn't doing the most and the last thing I want to do the ingrown hairs are making it like sore and things like that so the last thing I want to do is run a razor there but this is why I have this for those kinds of days where you just want a hair removal cream and you just do the things, you know, and then you wait and then you remove. So this one is one of my favorite ones because it's not abrasive. It doesn't quite, it doesn't hurt. It's great for sensitivity, um, especially when you're going to be working around patoon. I don't get too close. I don't get too far down. I just really use the hair removal cream. Um where it's safe to use it basically because i don't use it that much it lasts me a very long time okay and then we all know that there are those days where your friends will come and visit you or um those days where you know you <laughs> or <Robert Gustrating. laughs> You're just you just visiting and you need like maybe you might need a razor raise you know just a razor just to do just a last minute ting ting groomings i definitely like these ones these are the big pure lady razors and they come in six and they often last me a long time if one of my friends is over and she spots it and she's in the shower and she wants to do a thing i allow her to use these ones these are really really good as well let's talk about just intimate taking care of yourself on a daily basis okay so we talk about wipes pads liners gels this is daily just looking after yourself and your patoo so for me if i can't find the gynecard gel for if i have a little bit of irritation down there which is really not that often but when i do have a little bit of an irritation down there femi gen has a really really nice soothing gel and this works really well when you have some sort of irritation down there it's just to counter things like itching or just the sensitivity you know redness what have you those kinds of things but of course if it lasts a long time you have to consult a gynecologist or you have to consult your doctor but it just odor any odors infections itchiness this helps really really it just it does a really great job so normal daily intimate wipes i've spoken about this in my previous video and i'm going to speak about it now as well gynecod has them and lilette has them and these are great because this is a two pack which has 10 feminine wipes in them and it goes for about 30 bucks if I'm not mistaken it's a bargain it really is such a great price the gynecard ones you have like five or, or five in a box and it's much more expensive so definitely for a bang for your buck these lids ones are great and it's, they're quite thin so you can put the whole pack of 10 into your bag wow. and you know what these also come in handy if you find yourself at a public toilet okay so just throughout the day if you want to just toot toot titivate and you know that you have a little meeting yana later toot toot titivate titivate it works and then for me daily i can't even i forget this name for me, daily panty liners that I absolutely love are these ones. These are the Kotex Everyday Panty Liners. They are thin. They are unscented. Things that are scented for me, it's not really a thing. I've noticed that ish, if, even if it's got a nice smell, hey, I, for me, it's just not a real thing. So I normally buy these ones, which are unscented. Um, it does have scented ones as well. And I buy the 100 pack. 100 yes i buy the 100 pack and these this is what they look like they're great these are absolutely great they are individually wrapped this is the one that's sitting in my bathroom right now and can we talk about how cute this wrapping is they're individually wrapped look at that look at that how cute is that hey how cute is that they're individually wrapped meaning you can put it in your bag you can put it in your denim pocket if you just run it quickly to the store and you're not quite sure what's going to happen and they are honestly that thin can you see can you see they're thin i know some brands do slightly thicker panty liners for me that is incredibly uncomfortable i need to not feel that it's there that's pretty much me because if I feel like it's there, then according to me, I'm wearing a pad and I'm not wearing a panty liner. So, absolutely love them. Thin, 
portable compact um individually wrapped which is brilliant they do have the ones that that are not individually wrapped that come like a certain amount in a box and all of that but i just feel like these are more convenient to put in your handbag and can change it throughout the day dependent on how what's going on with patu these are really really good we love them we love her i just feel like the whole rebranding repackaging of kotex products for when it's that time of the month nothing for me beats Lalettes. Okay. For me, nothing beats Lalette's tampons, and I've got three different sizes here to show you because your flow isn't the same every single month. Your flow is different. Actually, with every single period, your flow is different. When you start out, sometimes it's just a little bit of spotting, and then it becomes light, and then progresses to medium, then quite heavy, and then it evens out and becomes medium, then lighter throughout your period as it progresses right we know this we know this so your tampons should be the same way too for me i feel very uncomfortable trying to wear a super tam tampon when nothing belly come now okay so on the very very light days uh which is normally the last day of my period or the first day of my period i will use the mini which is for a very light flow and this is pretty much what it looks like this is the 16 pack of the mini absolutely love her we love her we love her I love it and then as my period progresses gets medium we're talking about later on maybe in the day or the next day then I will switch my tampons to regular which is for the regular flow like your regular flow and it comes in the blue pack and it looks like so and then when it gets real deep where you get those twitter you know those um what do you call those things <laughs> what do you call those twitter uh gifts where you get the gifts with the like the blood everywhere and the blood coming out the doors and just lying on the floor it's just in a pool of blood when it gets real deep and real heavy I pull out my super and this is for when yeah basically when shit has hit the fan and you are just not you know when you're standing up and you're like you know you gotta check yourself before you wreck yourself you know <laughs> you have to check the seat just in case those days don't happen too often but they do those days I particularly love the super it's really really good um, I love this one <laughs> I love this one for those heavy, heavy days. Tampons, uh, it is recommended that you wear them throughout the day and then at night you switch to sanitary towels or pads as others, as most of us know them as pads. We know them as pads. And uh, for that, I use the same pads all the time. If I am heavy at night, then I will, which is very rare, the older I've gotten, my, my flow isn't as heavy anymore. Um, but my favorite ones are the Woolies. Woolies? <laughs> my favorite ones are the Always Ultra Thin long pads and i pick these up either in the value pack this is what they look like quite thin as well so this is what they look like also very very thin as you can see hey we love them so i pick it up in the value pack which is um 16 of them or i pick up the eight pack it doesn't necessarily matter and i have them everywhere around the house i've got them in the guest bathroom for when there's visitors and a girl might be going through some things, okay? And I have them be so thin, you barely feel that they are there. Really, really love these two. So that is pretty much it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I enjoyed making it for you. It's an updated what my feminine hygiene products are let me know which ones you love maybe you want me to try out a different uh, intimate wash let me know and let's talk about it in the comment section down below please share this video far and wide and share it on twitter share it everywhere because i feel feminine hygiene is a very important topic to talk about let's share i'm actually thinking of doing like a feminine hygiene hamper giveaway for one of my 
special subscribers i'm thinking about it we'll see we'll see um if you share this video we'll do that we'll do that if you share this video and you subscribe and blah blah we'll do that we'll do we'll do something like that i hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe click the notification bell and i'll see you in the next one Mwah. <laughs> bye